Hello guys, if you like my awesome gaming videos, my programming and web development courses, my editing courses and editing videos, and my tech talks and tech guidance, then you can consider subscribing to my channel and click on this bell icon to stay connected with me all the time. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So finally, we are back with Laravel Complete Series. I will talk briefly about everything that you need to know about Laravel Complete Series, okay? So first, what you're gonna learn is Laravel Groot. I know it is very basic, but you will understand a lot of things about uh, Laravel model view controller pattern. And I also talk about image and file upload technique in Laravel, which is also very important. If you see my Django course previously, you know that how discuss how I discussed about it in briefly. You can check it out. And the same, all the concept that you need in Laravel framework to build a web application, you will learn everything. And we have a database integration and we use MySQL as a database and we'll upload our images files to the database and we're going to create a complete crude applications with lots of projects and it has a relation with uh, each project will having a particular category. Okay, we have advanced query system that we can query everything from our database and model and send everything to the view function so that we can see everything. We have blade templating and we will inherit each template because we don't want to add same bootstrap and same uh, libraries again and again in every single blade file okay we will add pagination so that we can see the product each by each page uh, like five products in page or four products in page or you can say in in case it may be five posts in a page or six posts in a page or six products in a page so whichever model that you create we have a search functionality you search everything that you want to find and it will give the thing that you required and then we have pdf generation we're going to generate dynamic pdf from your normal html and convert it to the pdf format you can print it out as well and we're having dynamic charts that we're going to in integrate using chart js which is also amazing because these are all the thing features that you need in real daily life you need query system you need templating you need pagination you need search functionality you need pgdf conversation generation and dynamic charts and you need to have a separate admin panel and user panel as well user panel can only see the information that you want to see and admin panel can have index pages create pages update pages edit pages of your content so this is one of the very important thing that you will learn in Laravel series. So I hope it would be really, really fun and really interesting. And then you will also learn in the last part, the rest API creation with Laravel Lumen API Lumen. Consume this Lumen API that we will create in React application. So everything will be covered, which is the most important thing that you need to know. And we're going to create a really, really awesome thing with all the techniques that you're going to use. So this is actually the basic. I just want to show you a little bit of demo, as you can see. And uh, obviously, it is uh, completely responsive, as you can see. And this is a, a, no, a normal, uh, just a bootstrap uh, nav bar that you will see will have a search functionality that we'll add here. And this is the normal title, all the projects that you're going to see. And it will have a GitHub link, YouTube link of this particular project. We have an image, we have a title. We'll have a separate category table for a category. As you can see, we have a Django category. We have full stack development. We have Django category. We have a lot of things that we have covered. And you will get the GitHub code of each page because each project should have its GitHub uh, code that you want to show your client. And it's also a YouTube link if you create any video projects for your application that how you created it, you can add, add all of those things for the YouTube projects as well. So how we can create everything and how we fetch everything from the database, everything is just fully dynamic. And you can add skills charts that you, you know Django 60%, you know Laravel, you know React, you know Node.js, you know Android development, you, you know every single thing that you want. Suppose if I go to change the project slash index page this also show only the projects okay web suppose if i go to web.php here we, we have all the routes if you go to admin slash project slash index in this route let me see what happens okay so we're gonna go to admin slash project slash index it will show all the information of the project like its images title category it has okay description created adapted and action you can also edit every single thing from here you can edit video link github link category every single one of those things so you know how you can create all of those things very modern very beautiful looking design and or uh, it, it's it looks really really good you can edit update everything and same as if you go to the skill set if you suppose go to 
admin slash skills slash index okay if you go there admin slash skills there you will see all the skills its id its name okay and its value okay these are all the value that is populated in the main pages and if you want to go to the create pages you can create your skills and values and add skills it will show there okay in the main pages so if we go to the slash main page here it you will render every single thing from the projects that you uploaded in the database and skill set so this is actually the user panel and those are the admin panels so our project that we're going to build are well, almost similar to this application but so at first i'm gonna really focus on how to build this thing then we're gonna focus about updating this thing adding pagination search functionality give pdf creation chart add addition every single thing one by one part by part okay then we also create a rest api separately uh, for our own purpose as you can see raw laravel my portfolio app this is a simple app that you're gonna uh, show and take help from when you build this particular project because you know github is for storing all of your important code and showing it to your client user and get some help because i'm not remembering any code i just see code how it works then it will do the work so this is the main basic thing you need to know how the code works you just don't remember everything okay so this is the main thing so these are the everything that you want to learn how you want to build and create something very useful okay we will create a full-fledged application so thanks all for guys in the next part we're going to start creating our main projects and create a form that we can upload all of our information to the database okay so our create functionality would be done from scratch in the next video so i hope you guys really like it and subscribe and share as much as possible so that i can get a lot of help from you guys so see you in the next video